My name is Garima Singh, and I'm from the United States, but I'm originally from India. Um, so this is NAMACA, NMCA, that stands for No More Car Accidents. Um, so what we, what our device does is it simultaneously prevents uh, drunk driving, drowsy driving, and speeding. Um, it has sensor technology that detects the blood alcohol level of the driver. It alerts you if you're drifting into another lane, and it um, uses GPS location to calibrate the speed of the driver with the speed limit of the road that they're on. So this is all to prevent very, you know, preventable car accidents. So anything that is really easy to stop, we want to make sure that that happens because at Namaka, we firmly believe that although there's a rising number of cars on the road, um, car accidents are not a necessary evil. Um, Salam Awit from Ethiopia, and I'm going to explain how Namaka works. So as Garima told you, it's all in one device. So it has uh, alcohol sensor, uh, line sensor, and speed. So uh, first, when the alcohol sensor works, when a, a drunk person just step in the car, the device takes the alcohol limit, and it will text them, please don't drive. You're uh, above the alcohol limits. So if they keep driving, uh, for five seconds, it starts buzzing and uh, giving life for them, and it will stop. And it will take somebody from their family or relatives or and close friends. Close friends. And the second application of Namaka is drowsy driving. If someone is driving uh, sleepy or they're tired, they could just face some accidents. So it will dictate the way, the path they're going. So it will alert them so they should wake up and drive properly. And the third application of Namaka, as we all have, uh, know, like cars have speed limits. So if someone is driving above the speed limit, it will like start buzzing. It, it will give them time to slow down themselves. But if they keep doing that, Namaka will slow down the car. So how, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. What helped me at the camp? Um, I think the biggest things that I've gained from the camp, first of all, the friendships, of course. I've made some great friends here, like Saliti and Giselle. Um, and uh, the other thing I would say is uh, the leadership and the empowerment piece of the camp. So, um, you know, before I came here, I used to feel like I'm... I used to feel like I'm a 17-year-old girl. Uh, what can I do? Just, you know, I'm sitting here. Um, but now I really feel like I'm empowered to make a difference. You know, I am a leader, and I can do what I want to do to make a change. Uh, the first thing, as Grima says, the old friends I get here, it, it was been a a great experience and also I, I feel like I'm born for a change I can do whatever I can I, it's I mean it will never stop me being a girl will never stop me from doing what I want to do so I feel that thing all the leadership sessions I take all the steam uh, classes I take helps me to become what I want uh, in the future thank you um. Uh, basically, uh, I, first of all, I didn't understand what uh, girl empowerment meant. Uh, I just thought it was like bringing down boys and stuff. But here at the camp, I got to, to like understand what it means. And I got many friends. Uh, I, I didn't believe I could do something like this. But then, yeah, yeah I did this. And um, also, uh, also about leadership. I could not talk in front of people, like I go say something, no, I couldn't do that, but now I can. Yeah. My name is Gisela Mahola from Rwanda.